Hey guys, it's me, Mom. I'm here today to show you um, a boo basket that I'm gonna make for Leo. I have already made one for his teacher, and this is what it looks like. I basically went to Walmart and got an ice bucket. Um, it's a school ice bucket made of plastic. I really liked it. I first wanted to um, make Leo's boo box from boo bag from this bucket but it was too small and he um, liked it better for his teacher so we ended up uh, using it for his, for his teacher. Um, some of the stuff that I got for her were, I got her a scarf, I just got that from the dollar store and I went and got a whole bunch of candies also um, from the 99 cent store. Um, we went to Target and I got some pencils. Hopefully she can share those with the class. Um, Leo is doing virtual learning since we're doing, um, it's the COVID-19 going on right now. Um, and he's not going to, to school. Uh, he's doing virtual learning. But the teacher um, does have some students that are in class. So I included some pencils and some um, school erasers and hopefully she can share those with their class. I also got her... Um, this little cup at the store, it has glitter in it. It's really, really cool. And um, I just put some marshmallow candies in there. Kind of look like this, like different colors that I got. It's just purple, orange, and white, and it's just marshmallow. If you smell it, it smells like marshmallow. Um, I added this little skulls, and those I just got from straws. Um, I have a whole bunch of extra things here. Um, so at the at the, at Walmart you can get these packs of straws. You can either get the ones with the little ghosts, or you can get the pack with the skulls. Um, I just went ahead and took one of those out, and easily you can just remove the skull from the straw, and then just put it on any straw that you'd like, and as a little topper just snaps back together and this is what it looks like they're really cute guys and so yeah so just uh, for a finishing touch I added uh, a drink for her so she can uh, use her cup and I have um, a little necklace that are little ghosts and they um, turn on it it has a little light little lights um, but I left those and I didn't take the little tab off that way she could she can use it and it's gonna be fresh and new and um, to make to make it a little bit fuller I got some um, garland from the 99 cent store that was like glittery kind of glittery and uh, I added that to the bottom to make it a little bit taller and so this is the finished product all I need to do is um, get a bag for it to go for for it to go over it and I'm going to make a, a bow and a little skeleton that I'm going to place on it but so far this is what is this is what I've done and um, now we are going to work on Leo's basket that way I can kind of show you how I did it um leo has already seen it he's here with me it, it was supposed to be a surprise because i really wanted it since there's not going to be any trick-or-treating this year i want it i usually get him a basket a boo basket every year um but this year since there's not going to be any trick-or-treating i wanted it to, to be extra special for him he's not going to eat any of this candy or at least not all of it he usually doesn't eat candy what about you you go away. You want you want to. Hey guys, I'm sorry. We're gonna lose our difficulties. Well, I was talking to mine and I was saying it's kind of come and he said yeah. Well, take a look. A bunch of load of rolls. Okay, so let's go through all the stuff that I got for him. This is the the bucket that I got for him. It is a plastic cauldron from Walmart. And uh, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and put some bags, some plastic bags on the bottom so of it. Soft. That way it can uh, raise it up just a little bit. Can you give me a couple more bags, please? Mm, okay. So that I can put them to the bottom of it. I'll be back. Leo will be right back. He's going to go get me a couple more bags so I can uh, fill the bottom of this and Hi. it can, maybe like three or four, please. There's still some stuff coming for him, guys. I just order them online, and uh, they won't be here for a couple more days. So they will be here by before Halloween, but they're not here yet. And those are going to be the ones that are going to be the surprise that he's not going to see yet. But he's going to get this on, on Saturday night. Um, we are planning to order some pizza. And um, I believe my brothers might be coming over to watch a movie with us. Um, each year since, he's been a little, since he was a baby... Um, it's been a tradition for them to come over on Halloween or us come over to their house. And as all, we're all adults, he's the only child, we all go together to um, take him trick-or-treating. So since, again, we're going through this pandemic and um, we are oh, yeah. not, we're not definitely not going to put ourselves out there and um, risk anything and go trick-or-treating. So we're just gonna do a whole bunch of stuff here at home. Um, hopefully Friday we do some stuff with um, with my husband's side of the family. We might uh, go over there and, and maybe carve some pumpkins with his little cousins. But um, other than that, we're just planning to get some pizza, order a movie, um, rent a movie, and then just watch a movie and, and and get some popcorn. But um, it'll be fun, guys. We're gonna just have to do the best we can. So here's a cauldron. We've put some and bags guys, in it. And guys, and here's my secret plant I was going to do for something for Halloween. So we're going to do some witch's brew. Sorry, we got some dif mm -hmm. difficulties here. My phone's dying, guys. I'm so sorry. We're going to have to do this really, really fast because... Um, we don't want my phone to die. Um, so I was planning to, to, to just put all of these things in his basket, but now that I think of it, um, I also got some little bitty teeny tiny cauldrons that I was planning to put in his teacher's basket with candy, but it didn't fit. So what I might do is just take them, uh, take them to his little cousins for if we do, um, pumpkin carving on Friday. Um, but we'll see. So, guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, take some stuff out. Okay. So first of all, for the snacks, I got him some um, pork rinds. He really, really likes these. Yeah. Um, and they're good. They're they're really good. They're just um, regular flaky curly cues. And, cr and crunchy. And uh, pork skins that are like um, fried. So... There's that. It's going to go in the box. So I'm going to kind of try to put it towards the bottom because that's like not important and doesn't look good. And the next gift, and the next one is Tacos Love, Dragon's Love Tacos Plushie. Um, this is my first plushie. I didn't got those. <coughs> I'm sorry. They <coughs> cough. And wait, and wait, 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 wait. I'm going to go ahead and put it. And I have that way I can organize it. Okay. So then um, I'm going to get, I'm, I'm going to leave the, the candy towards the end. I'm going to do the stuff that is not candy, like the snacks that are not candy. So I got him some pistachios from the 99 cent store. I got him two little packs of that. He really likes pistachios. Yeah, so because he, they're so delicious. So I went ahead and got him two of those. And, and I'm going to go ahead and put those in the box. In the so, box like that. And the next one is the, the sticky skeleton. As far as snacks that are not candy, those were the only two things that I got for him. Um, next, I also got him some little books. I got him um, this at Target, 99 cent, the Bullseye's Playground. Um, it's just a little co sticker coloring book. It's really fun, really cute. And that's going to go in there as well. We also have a actual little storybook. Um, it's a trick or treat little critters, and it just looks like that. And it's really fun. It has lots of little stickers and stuff. I thought it was really really cute. I wish I had that whenever I was little. 
So that's just gonna go in the back, the bag and as the well. And the next one is the zombie. You can see the colors from his eyes and his brain. You see that? See that? <laughs> this is really cool, guys. It's just a little notebook, and he can't just like draw and, and do stuff in there. And so that's gonna go in the bag. And the next one is sticky skeleton. They're just white, orange, and black. That goes in here. I also got him one movie. I usually get him one movie per year. This year, um, I, he's already watched it and he really likes this, but he doesn't yeah. have it on DVD. So this movie is? Igor. Is yeah. Igor, and yeah. he really likes that Yeah, because I have that on my tablet. Yeah, he has it on his yeah, tablet. Yeah, it's for free. And I think he has it on Netflix, I'm, bit, I'm assuming. I'm um, not sure. No, no. No. No, but it's on, it's on, it's on the DVD, oh, also on tablet. It's kind of free. You can get it on it. And so I got him this little cup as well. This one came from um, the Dollar General store for a dollar. And it's just a little um, a little cup with a straw. And it has little pumpkins. And it's purple, which is his favorite color. So he really, really likes that. I'm going to go ahead and put that towards the back because it has this big whole area that you can't really fit anything in there. So I'm just going to put that in there. And the next one is the colorful slime. There's this black cauldron with slime in it. Yeah. And, and it this came from the Bullseye's Playground as well. Hold on, hold and that's on, gonna me, go in there. Look at the holes stuck down. There's some slime stuck on the on the lid. It looks like some slime might have gotten out, but that's gonna go in there as well. We're gonna get to the candy now since I need to fill the back part of it. Well, first of all, he gets this little box of Sour Patch Kids. It's what they look like, little Sour Patch yeah. Kids. Um, I like easy. He is like a little Sour Patch. Yeah. I always call him a Sour Patch because he, he's uh, sweet but naughty. <laughs> I like he's a troublemaker. Yeah, I do. Yeah, maybe the next one, and when I get my tablet back from the car, I will make a video of the several patch. Okay, guys. So this one's gonna go to the back as well because I it has this big hole over here. Um, next, you're gonna put in the these this little teeny tiny bag of Snickers. Um, it has the little tiny Snickers. I, uh, again, all these candies, I got them from the 99 cent store. It's just small little bags of small little candy. And he's going to share this with his dad. And he, they're going to eat them through the whole year. It's not like he's going to just sit and munch on all this candy. But at the same time, he usually takes it to my mom and my dad's house. That way he can um, give some to my, my dad, his grandpa. So then the next one is this. This is called Bubo Lubu. Bubu Lubu. It is really delicious. It's chocolate. It's like a little marshmallow covered in chocolate. Um, okay, so it's marshmallow and it has strawberry jam on top of that. And then it's all covered in chocolate. Um, it's really good. There's three little, little, little candies in there uh, about that size. And so, again, this, are, this is like a Mexican candy that he can eat with his dad. And the next one is marshmallows and gummies. Not on any fingers, but they have mouth of teeth and some eyeballs. Okay, so guys, we also have these Kit Kat. He requested for me to get some Kit Kat for his teacher. We don't know what her favorite candy is. So we are getting, we got her some Kit Kat and some Snickers, which is the, usually the kind of candy that, the chocolate candy that mostly anybody would like. So I got him a bag of Kit Kat and I got his teacher a bag of Kit Kat. And then that's going to go in his, in his boxes, in his bag as well. I also got him one Rice Krispies treat. It's the long one, and he's going to share this one with me because I like Rice Krispies. We have Krispies. two Rice Krispies bar, but one is in uh, Ms. Is Ms. Huffman's one. I, I, I always get confused because my teacher actually looks like Ms. Muller. His teacher from third grade is called Ms. Huffman. Her name's Ms. Huffman, but according to him, it looks like his second grade teacher which was Miss Muller. So he always calls 
Miss Huffman, Miss Muller. And since he hasn't been in class with her, um, he hasn't really gotten to differentiate both of them because to him, they both look the same. So he just always gets confused and calls um, his third grade teacher the name of his second grade teacher. Um, okay, I guys, I think that I think that's it for the candy and the snacks. Um, yeah. Again, like he said, I got like this big, huge, huge bag of like little body parts that are gummy bear, like gummies. So it's like little mouths, little eyes, uh, toes, fingers, and I just I didn't put all of them in there. I just got like a few for him and a few for his teacher, and then the the rest of them I'm gonna put in these little buckets for his cousins that I'm we're gonna take over if we go on Friday. But we're just gonna throw all of those little candies in there. Um, that way we can fill up his little basket here. So then now we're going. And that's it. So now we're going to the candy report and to the to the item report. So since all of these things are kind of filled up the bottom of the basket, now we're going to go to the nice, like more exciting things that are not candy that that I'm excited for. Okay. So like he said, I usually every year I get him a little stuffed animal. Um, he really, really likes these little stuffed animals that I get at uh, Walgreens for him. Um, I really don't remember what they're called, but they're really, really squishy, like really, really soft and cuddly and squishy. And they're like little balls. Um, I didn't get him. I did not get him one this year. Um, he has been um, asking for me to get... Um, the Dragon Loves Tacos stuffed a stuffed uh, animal, and um, I found him on eBay. So I, since he already has the the first book, uh, Taco Dragons Love Tacos, and uh, it comes in a set. But somebody on eBay was just selling it just by itself. So I went ahead and purchased this for him. Um, I I did order uh, Dragon Loves Tacos too, but I guess maybe we might include that in his. Uh, Christmas gifts, but for Halloween, he's getting the plushie for Dragon Loves Tacos, the first book, and it's a little dragon, he's red, and he has a little taco, which if you didn't know, Leo loves tacos! So the next one is hand sanitizer. We always need sanitizer from the coronavirus. Since we are uh, going through the pandemic again, I got him a little spray hand sanitizer that he can hook up to his little backpack if he goes to my mom's house. He hasn't left the house, guys. My son doesn't go to the store. He doesn't go. He doesn't go anywhere. We we don't um, take him anywhere. If he goes anywhere, it's basically just my mom's house for the weekend, or he goes visit with my husband's family, so his his little cousins. Coronavirus, get it real. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so it's just a little spray and i got this at um see just a little spray and i got that at the at the dollar general store yeah and then the next one is soaps i mean some, some you know it's a little ghost i mean a little a little monster it's gonna go in there yeah, but I was gonna say is the next one is like you know the thing you to get out and you blow some bubbles. Whoa, it's just a whole bunch of bubbles, guys. So I got him this big pack. Well, there was a bigger pack, but I got him this the pack that had uh, the eight pack count. Again, like I said, I don't. I was gonna put all of these in his um in his basket, but I think I'm gonna leave four of them for his cousins to put on in their little basket here if we go to his cousin's house. So he's gonna get two of them that are white and it's like a little skeleton on them. He's gonna get those two. He's also gonna get one black, which is a little um, cat. Can't see it. Ugh. So a little cat, guys, just like that. And he's also going to get a pumpkin. And that pumpkin just looks just like that with a little, well, a jack-o'-lantern. And he's going to get that as well. Okay. So we also got him 
this big, huge bag of erasers. He doesn't need that many erasers, guys. I'm not going to give him all of these erasers because he doesn't need them. But this is the same bag that I got for his teacher. And the ones I got for her, I did actually include the whole bag in, in her basket. That way she could share with the class. Um, but for him, I'm just going to get one of each color. I really, really like these uh, erasers, guys. It's so cool. Really like skulls. There's a black one, little black eraser. I'm just gonna throw it in there. There's a gray one. I'm just gonna throw it in there as well. There's a blue, like a baby blue one. That's gonna go in there as well. And lastly, a per, uh, orange one. That's gonna go in there. Okay guys, the rest of them, I'm gonna put them to the side and we're gonna use that for the other basket for his cousins. And uh, if we have any leftover, we're, I just usually just have a big bucket and I save non-perishable things maybe to use the following year for goodie bags for, I don't know, his class or a friend or whatnot. Okay, so then at the 99 cent store also, I got him this little mystery bag. It's a Ghostbusters mystery bag. Um, I only found one. I wanted to get him maybe a couple more, but I could only find one, so we I went ahead and got it. And I promised, okay. promised to get more of those. I, I couldn't find any more. Okay, when we find another store, we'll always get them. Okay. And the next um, one. There's these. He, you cannot touch them. I mean, these are little. He loves these things, but I can have him just touch them right now because... They're these little sticky, I, I know guys, y'all have seen them, little, just little creatures that are like sticky and they stick to everything, but if you drop them, everything sticks to them. I was gonna get them out of the bag, but they're not individually wrapped, so I changed my mind. I'm not take, taking them out of the bag. I'm just gonna put the whole bag in there to and get by itself. So then the next one is the tin is filled with slides or orange, blue, and black. I'm gonna go ahead, went ahead and put um, the the little uh, gummy ones in this in this little bag uh, where the I think it was the bubbles, yeah, where the bubbles used to be. I just went ahead and put that in there because it has uh, tape on the bottom, like glue, and we're just gonna stick that in here with his stuff. He already put that in the in the box and it's just uh again all these little slime sticky skeletons and then he's just i'm just gonna stick that in there go ahead and organize it a little bit and okay so like he mentioned he got all this look this big bag full of slimes these are individual individual ones because each one is in its little container. So I'm not giving him all of this slime. Because I'm gonna mess them For up. the longest time, we were a slime-free house them? because if you're them? a mom, you know, you know, you know, you just know, okay? You, if you know, you know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give him three slimes. I'm gonna give him a black one. I'm gonna give him an orange one, and I'm gonna give him a blue one. And those are gonna go in the bag as well, in the bucket as well. I, saw, I just organized them. Yeah, and um, he's just gonna get one of each. And then um, I got these straws, and he said he wanted a ghost. So I'm gonna give him two. I'm gonna give him an orange one, and I'm gonna give him a black one. I'm gonna go ahead and stick those in the middle here so you can see them. And a bouncing ball. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so lastly, we got him, or I got him, this string of lights. It's a necklace, and I got this at Joanne Fabric. This one lights up. It's a bouncy ball. So um, I'm going to go ahead Sorry. and hang this. All over his his food basket here. Sorry guys, sorry guys, just a little booger in my throat. Can you go get a napkin? Oh yes, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> okay, and this is what it looks like, guys. I'm just I just kind of like put it on there, 
and uh, that is the completion of his basket. And uh, you just kind of organize it however. It doesn't look as nice as the previous years just because he wanted this big cauldron. Because it kind of... And uh, it just, you can't really see anything. It's all jammed in there. And it's like a lot of stuff. So this is what it looks like. All of the stuff that um, I got him fits in there really nicely. And he will be getting this cauldron on Saturday. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. And thank you if you're one of the eight people that are subscribed to our channel. We really appreciate it. Um, stay tuned. We will be posting more videos here soon. And uh, please give us a like, comment, subscribe, and join our and join our family. And, and subscribe so you don't miss another video. Yeah, go ahead and subscribe to not miss any more videos from and, us. And click the like. And click the, the thumbs up and the like. When we get 2,000 likes, or not, or just two or three, maybe some, oh, maybe we could do something crazy we haven't did before. Yes, guys, maybe if uh, we if we get 100 subscribers. Or not. or No, yeah, if two. we get a, 100 subscribers, I'll, I'll make a little basket. I'll make one of these little and little cauldrons, and uh, um, I'll, I'll we'll do a giveaway. So we'll do a little giveaway. Think about that. Yeah. Tell your friends to join, and we'll see you next uh, the, on the next episode. Thank you. Meet Peace the out. Potion. Bye. Bye.